you know, there's so much going on internationally. We, we need you now more than ever. Yes, I agree with you that we have a, a rapidly uh, a rapidly evolving or rather a rapidly escalating situation in the world. And uh, from the perspective of Islam and of course again Islamic eschatology, uh, we would have a certain perspective to bring uh, which might be of some benefit uh, for analysts uh, to incorporate in the analysis. Um, I believe that the Zionist, uh, um, the Zionist um, created a film on the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu was salam. Um, was released at the time when it was released uh, for a certain specific purpose. I noticed that there is a, an unhappy coincidence uh, every four years. But the last time, four years ago, it was in early September that something happened in the banking system which sank the presidential campaign of uh, John McCain and caused Barack Obama to take off on an unstoppable uh, surge to victory. It was early September. And I noticed again in early September, coincidentally at the time of the anniversary of 9-11, coincidentally, that something has happened which threatens to sink Obama's presidential campaign and cause uh, Romney to perhaps get the kind of uh, uh, surge that he needs that will take him to victory. Uh, appear appearance, therefore, is that uh, there are forces at work using an act of, uh, what is it called, video terrorism or is it movie terrorism? <laughs> A psyop. To, uh, yeah, to achieve through elections what has not so far been achieved on the battlefield. The American administration and the American armed forces have so far refused to be party to an attack on Iran, refused to be a party to an attack on Syria, refused to be a party to an attack on Pakistan. None of these have occurred so far. The reason why the U.S. armed forces do not want to do it because they know that such attacks are going to lead to world war. Taking on Russia and taking on China is not the same thing as taking on Muammar Gaddafi in Libya. No. Lots and lots and lots of Americans are going to die in a war with Russia. Lots of American cities are going to be destroyed in a war with Russia. And a war with China is going to be an even, even equally horrific enterprise. And so there is a great reluctance on the part of the American armed forces, and uh, naturally so, to attack Iran and Iraq, attack Syria and attack Pakistan and risk nuclear war. But uh, Israel usually gets others, the Zionists usually get others to wage their wars for them. And if Obama or Barack Obama will not do it, then Romney will do it. And so my reading, uh, Morris, is that the timing of the release of the movie or the film and the consequences which have so far emerged and they're still unfolding. They're still unfolding. I think they have the capacity to add some more fuel to the fire as the Arab Spring showed us. Uh, I think that the implications are that we would now see Romney's uh, 
presidential campaign moving forward with a surge and Barack Obama's campaign be sinking down because the media is going to capitalize on this to impress upon the American people uh, that Islam now constitutes a menace to the world and that uh, America needs a, a, a president and an administration with the kind of muscles that can deal with Islam and deal with Muslims uh, in order to save the world from the menace of Islam. Uh, and this, and uh, Obama has not been able to do that. And therefore, uh, Romney's campaign will benefit from what has happened so far. Uh, my second, uh, my second uh, comment is that if I am correct, then we can, uh, we can, I hope, safely conclude that there is not going to be any war between now and November the 4th. That Israel is not going to attack. That the United States is not going to attack. That NATO is not going to attack. The status quo will remain as it is until the elections take place. After the elections take place, uh, then I can expect sometime in December, uh, perhaps a re repeat of what happened four years ago in December, when Israel exploited the interim between government, between presidents to attack Gaza and then pulled out of that attack in order to welcome Obama on January 24th, 20th. So we can also see a repeat of that. Otherwise, I think the wars are going to start next year. Uh, the only caveat I have to give is that in the event that the, the movie or the film and the uh, violent response from the world of Islam does not give a sufficient surge to Romney and does not sink Obama's presidential campaign, then they may have to bring something out of the rabbit's hat to uh, achieve that objective. Uh, I would, however, like to take the opportunity to make uh, a, a comment upon the um, news we have had uh, of the killing of the American ambassador and some diplomatic staff in Libya. I am a student of Islam and international relations, and I know something about the Islamic conduct of state uh, and of Islam and international affairs, the, th the theory. And it is a blemish. Uh, it is something shameful from our perspective that Muslims should attack uh, an ambassador of a foreign country who is supposed to enjoy in our territory certain amount of security guaranteed to him by the state. That if he behaves in a manner which is unacceptable to us, we'll expel him. Ask him to leave, but you do not, you do not utilize the opportunity of his presence in your country to do what they did, to attack this man in his car and kill him. I want to condemn it as harshly as I possibly can, regardless of whatever he may have done, regardless of what the American government may have done regardless of what the American armed forces may have done in Libya. The fact is, you do not act in this way with people who are ambassadors who represent foreign countries in your territories. We are seeing a rise of this radical element, uh, very much provoked and perhaps engineered. I believe the word is takfiri. In Arabic but what is the answer to prevent the complete extremism that we are witnessing amongst angry Muslims these are not angry Muslims these are Dajjal's warriors Dajjal the Antichrist the false Messiah he's also 
A man like the pipe, pump, piper of Hamlin, he plays a pipe. And he gets these people to dance to his tunes. And when he played, when he played his pipe in Libya, they danced to his tunes. And now he's playing his pipe in Syria, and they're dancing to his tunes in Syria. There are people who have eyes and yet cannot see. They are just like cattle or worse than cattle. And it is to the credit of the false messiah that he's able to recruit these people and use them to fight his wars for him. And they would like us to believe that they're waging a jihad. I say that's not a jihad. It looks more like a Yankee jihad to me. It looks more like a Zionist jihad to me. It's a phony jihad. And I reject it and I say it has nothing to do with the religion of Islam.